So please welcome Watermelon Mountain Jug Band. Thank you. I want to thank Roger, I want to thank especially the Lions Club, all the volunteers here, all the workers here are volunteers, Lions Club, Frank and Fan, and especially we want to thank you folks for feeding these animals. Here's a sing-along now, we just... We know you kind of ate in shifts depending on where you were in the line, so if you got a mouthful of food, we ask you not to sing along. <laughs> but if you remember this one, sing along with us. Listen to a story about a man named Chet That poor mountaineer, he barely kept his family fed Then one day, while he was shooting at some food Up from the ground come a bubbling crew Oil, that is, black coal, Texas tea Well, the first thing you know, old Jet's a millionaire the kin folks said, Jet, move away from here. They said, California, that's the place you ought to be. So they loaded up their truck and they moved to Beverly. Hills, that is, swimming pools and movie stars. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to Jeff and all his kin. We would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality just to have a heaping helping of their hospitality. The Bunny Hillbilly! Nice folks. Y'all come back now, you hear? The ballad of Jed Clement. Well, we always have to distinguish ourselves because I know we're up here in the uh, Sandia Mountains, after which we are named. And uh, these are mountains. So even though we do a bunch of hillbilly music, we are not technically hillbillies. We are mountain billies. What's the difference between hillbillies and mountain billies? About 5,000 feet. So all right, I know you're all chowing down. Many of you are still eating, so we're gonna do a little food song. This is by the late, great Hank Williams Sr. Hank himself had a career that was cut short, tragically. He only recorded music for six years. Do you believe it? 
and over 104 songs on the radio and in the hit charts in that short amount of time. Just fantastic. Singer, songwriter, died too young. So we dedicate this to the memory of the late, great Hank Williams. And if you're a, a fan of this good food they're serving you tonight, how about it for Jarrah's Barbecue out here foot, putting dinner together for all you folks? Safely and securely. <laughs> Terrific job. So if you don't know the words to this song, it's because they're half Creole, half French, and half just Hank. <laughs> Here's a food song called Jambalaya. Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go with me on oh my own. Me gotta go pull the bureau down the bay. My Yvonne, sweetest one, me oh my. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Well, jambalaya, crawfish pie, and a filet gumbo. For tonight, I'm gonna see my Michelle Mia. She pick guitar, fill up her jar every day. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Now the Tobedos and the Fontanos, well, the place is buzzing. Kim folk come to see Vine by the dozen. They dress in style for a hot wild trio mild. Son of a gun, we have it fun on the body. Well, jam a lot, rubbish pie, fillet gumbo. For tonight, I'm a going to see my Michelle and me. We'll pick guitar, fill up a jar, and be gay. Son of a gun, we'll have it fun on the bike. Crawfish pie, filet gumbo For tonight I'm gonna see my Michelle and me We'll pick guitar and fill a fruit jar and be gay Son of a gun, we'll have a bit fun on the bike I settle down far from town to get me a bio And I'll catch all the fish on the bio Swap my bun to my Yvonne, what she need oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on your body Set down the line, a crawfish pie, a filet gumbo For tonight I'm gonna see my Michelle and me We'll pick guitar, fill up a jar and a Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on your body Said son of a gun, we'll have it fun on the bio. Hank Williams, folks. Hank Williams. Thank you. All right, well, Mother Nature is talking to us, huh? It's okay, we're covered here, aren't we? Mostly. <laughs> so I know there aren't a whole lot of kids here tonight, but we would like the parents of children to bring your children down front for a special number here. And Grandpa Gary on the washed up base is gonna give every child a little water washable tattoo that looks just like this Watermelon Mountain Jug Band poster up here. Oh, this is just for free. She goes, what is this for? It's for being a, a young person. Any kids out there, come on down. Infants, carry them on down. Here we go, we got some more. Come on down, you guys. Grandpa's got a little something for you. And we want you to stay down here. Stay down here for the next song, which is dedicated to all you kids. So if you've never done the chicken dance, there are no rules and there are no instructions. You just flap your wings like a chicken and then you kick your feet. There you go, that's the whole thing you got it down. All right, so we're gonna feature Mr. Ben Bray on the banjo. He's gonna do a little chicken picking for you if you've never heard that. It's kind of a special treat. Do we get this one over here? How about this little guy? 
She's got it already. So this is just an instrumental song. There are no lyrics, but the title of the song is Kicking Chickens. People are giving us a hard time saying that's cruel to animals. No. If you've ever grown up on a farm, what they're referring to is if you're feeding the chickens and you're throwing out the chicken feed, you got to keep your feet moving or they will peck your toes off. That's what you got to do. You guys just keep your feet moving and flap your wings. You'll be doing the chicken dance. Here's a little thing we call kicking chickens. to dance all night. We're going to see if we can get some grown-ups to come out here on this next song. Maybe do a little two-step. Here's a song that was half written, just half written, by Bob Dylan. Right here in New Mexico, back in 1971, Bob was here, and they were doing the film Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. And of course, those events really happened here in New Mexico, so they shot the film largely right here in New Mexico, and Bob was hiding out right about here. I think he was ho holding up with the bear over in that den. <laughs> Just to make sure no one got near him, huh? So the hit song from the film is Knocking on Heaven's Door, but that's a little dirge-like for us. So there's a half a song that never made it into the movie, and it sat around for 40 years in what's now known as the basement tapes, and a young band called the Old Crow Medicine Show out in North Carolina, called him up one day. They said, Bob, we love that song of yours, Wagon Wheel. Do you mind if we cover that on our recording? And he said, well, I never finished it. I wrote the chorus, it didn't get in the movie, so it's only half a song. And they said, well, how about we'll write some verses and we'll put the verses here in North Carolina so they make sense to us and we'll just sing your chorus with it. Well, Bob Dylan's no fool. He said, sure, knock yourselves out, give it a try. He doesn't normally share co-writing <laughs> with anybody. But this young band was so talented, this has now become the only song Bob Dylan has ever had a number one hit on the bluegrass charts with this song. It was so well known by the Old Crow Medicine Show that it jumped over to the country charts and Darius Rucker had a hit. And then it went to England and Mumford and Sons had a hit with it. We like to think if Bob would have had a nice jug band with him, we would have finished it for him right here in New Mexico. So if you're a grown up and you want to come on out and dance with your kids or with each other, we have a tradition with the Watermelon Mountain Jug Band. If you're the first dance couple on the floor, free CD. What's one of those these kids are asking? My son asked me what that is. I said, well, you know, we have compact discs. He said, I'm sorry about your back troubles, Dad, but how do I get your music? Just don't understand. Sing it if you know it. Come on out and dance if you feel it. Headed 
down south to the land of the pines I'm thumbing my way in the North Carolina Staring up the road, I pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Now I'm drinking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers Open for Raleigh so I can see my baby tonight so rock me, mama, like a waggling wheel. Rock me, mama, anywhere you feel. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. There go. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey. From the cold up in New England I was born to be a fiddler In an old time string band Then it picks a banjo And I strum the guitar now Well, the North Country Which is keep forgetting to me I lost my mind in playing poker I had a damn lead I ain't a going back To living that old life no more So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel Rock me, mama, anywhere you feel Hey, hey, mama, rock me Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain Rock me, mama, like a southbound train Hey, hey, mama, rock me South out of Roanoke I caught a trucker out of Philly And he told me some jokes But he's headed west To the Cumberland Gap Down to Johnson City In Tennessee Well I gotta get a move on Before the sun I hear my baby calling my name She's the only one If I die in Raleigh At least I will die free So rock me mama like a wagon Rock me, mama, anywhere you feel Hey, hey, mama, rock me Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain Rock me, mama, like the southbound tree Hey, hey, mama, rock me Come on, rock me, kitty, mama Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel Rock me, mama, anywhere North Carolina, this couple, you're our number one on the floor. Free CD. Do you even have a CD player? Say yes. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Looking great out there, as if you love each other. All right, speaking of North Carolina, here's a song written by Earl Scruggs. And folks, he's been humble and shy over here on my left. But we like to boast about him. It's not really a brag, it's a fact. On my left, on your right, Mr. Ben Perea is the five-time New Mexico State banjo champion. It doesn't get any better than that. So he's going to do a little Earl Scruggs song and... Uh, <laughs> 
This song is about a little tiny town where Earl is from in North Carolina, a town called Flint Hill. This is the Flint Hill Special. Dunnigan, are you still with us here today? Phil. Phil Dunnigan? There you go. Understand we got a birthday here. And so anybody else, if you got a birthday, we just don't have your name, you can insert that name. <laughs> but all the rest of us were singing for Phil, so when it gets to the dear so-and-so part of this song, just put in dear Phil, okay? Sing it with us. Happy birthday to you, Phil. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phil. Happy birthday to me and my dear Phil. All right. So to do another song that has some local roots to it. This is a song that was written uh, some time ago, but it, it was kind of an, uh, 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 an unlikely hit record. So the story goes, back in 1959, a very young Glenn Campbell moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico. He came here to play with his uncle Dick Bills, who had a band called the Sandia Mountain Boys. Named after the same mountains we're named after. We almost stole that name after they left, but Barbara said, I'm not going to be one of the Sandia Mountain boys. Sorry. So it used to be on a Friday or Saturday night, 59, 60, 61. You could go and for $2, you could see Glenn Campbell just picking up a storm. He's a terrific picker. And finally, his uncle said to him, Glenn, you got to go out to Hollywood. There's really no music industry here. Go on out and give it a shot. So he did, and within the first year that he was out there, he landed a job playing in the studios with a group that is now known as the Wrecking Crew. They came in, and they basically backed up every band you heard in the 60s. The Beach Boys, the Monkees, Cher, Sonny and Cher back then. It was all about Cher, wasn't it? <clears throat> Uh, all of those groups, Frank Sinatra. And, and so if you hear any of those old albums from back in that time, there's a good chance it's Glenn Campbell playing the guitar on it and maybe singing harmony on some parts. Well, he, he was singing harmony one day and the producer in the studio said, Glenn, you got a nice voice. You should do a song of your own. And he said, well, I'm a hired gun. I'm a picker. I, I don't write songs. And I said, well, see if you can find one and we'll, we'll just produce it for the heck of it, see what happens. So he called up a good friend of his, John Hartford. 
May John and Glenn both rest in peace. But he called up John Hartford. He said, they're trying to get me to do a song. Have you written anything that I might try to, you know, put on the radio? And John Harper laughed. He said, Glenn, I'm a folk singer who plays banjo. When's the last time you heard a hit record by a folk singer playing banjo? And he said, well... Well, we'll just work it up and see if we can make an arrangement for it. Well, John Hartford gave him this next song, and same thing. He said, sure, go with it, fly with it. They didn't think anything would happen. As it turned out, it became the first number one hit for Glenn Campbell. Became the theme song for the Glenn Campbell Hour on television. And John Hartford was his sidekick on that show. So we dedicate this to the memory of our former Arkansas by way of Albuquerque, by way of Los Angeles, star our rhinestone cowboy, Glenn Campbell. Gentle on my mind. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag Roll up and stash behind your couch And it's knowing I'm not shackled By forgotten words and bonds And the ink stains that have dried up on some line That keeps you in the back roads By the rivers of my memories That keeps you ever gentle on my mind It's not clinging to the rocks and ivy Planted on their columns now that binds me Or something that somebody said Because they thought we fit together walking It's just knowing that the world will not be cursed or forgiven When I walk along some railroad track and find you waving from the back road by the rivers of my memory for hours you're just gentle on my mind though the wheat fields and the closed lines and the junkyards and the highways come between us some other woman is crying to her mother cause she turned and I was gone I still might run in silence Tears of joy might stain my face And the summer sun might burn me till I'm blind But not to where I cannot see you Smiling on those back roads By the rivers flowing gentle on my mind Back from a gurgling, crackling cauldron in some train yard My beard a roughing and cold pile And a dirty hat low low across my face Through cupped hands round a tin can I pretend to hold you to my breast and find That you're waving from the back roads by the rivers of my memory For hours you just gentle on my mind Yes, you keep smiling from the back road By the rivers of my memory Forever you just gentle on my mind Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! We love him. All right, we call ourselves a jug band. I haven't played a note on the jug yet. What's wrong with this picture? 
Well, once I do, you'll know why I didn't. I love to play my jug, I play it with my mug, and if you don't like it, I'm gonna take another glove. Just joking, we don't really play rap music on the jug. We're gonna do some traditional jug band music. And before we do, I'd like to turn the microphone over to the lovely and talented, the prettiest member of the Watermelon Mountain Jug Band in a dress, Miss Barbara Piper. Thank you, Pat. You know, we've been together a long time and we've hurt ourselves a whole lot. So what we really do while we're up here is we, we, we watch the audience all of you and we look for members of the audience who have musical potential so i'm going to identify some members of the audience and gary is going to deliver to them a monogrammed a watermelon mountain jug band monogrammed kazoo so gary let's start with the woman on the front row right here she should have one And Gary, if you go back one, two, three tables, the woman who's the second person in next to the gentleman with the glasses on his sunglasses on his head, you got it. Oh my goodness. She deserves one. And then Gary, over behind you, towards the back, there's a couple, I think they're together. Uh-oh. A woman in Uh-oh. blonde hair and a gentleman next to her last row, Gary. Keep going, keep going, you got it. There, no, not, the, not that far. That far. You got it. He's right coming there. in the back door. There he is. There he is. Surprise. They're so excited. They're so excited. Gare, working your way down, right in front of you, there's a gentleman by the pole, post there. Let's get him. He's got a hat on. One left? Okay. So if we have one left, we got it, or uh, is it a self-professing person who wants a kazoo? There we go. Okay. So now not to worry, those of you that won kazoos, I know how anxious you are now because it's like, what is the expectation? Pat's gonna give you, Pat's gonna give you a kazoo lesson. Okay, if you've never played a kazoo before in your life, where have you been? <laughs> the whole trick is with a kazoo, the skinny end goes away from you and the larger end goes through your mouth. And whatever you do, don't cover up that top diaphragm. That's what gives you your note. But if you blow into a kazoo, you get nothing. Hot air. So you have to hum to play the kazoo. So let's get our kazoo chorus and let's tune them up here, everybody. Oh, that sounds like someone shot a goose. <laughs> One more time, all our kazoos, because you're going to be our kazoo chorus on this next song, believe it or not. Beautiful like a team of killer bees. Uh Uh-huh, that's better though, that's better. All those of you who are laughing at our kazoo chorus, don't laugh too soon, because if you're not holding that kazoo instrument in your hand, we're gonna ask you to use your own God-given instrument, your voice, you're gonna be our vocal chorus. I know you know this song. Kazoos, I'll say kazoos when our solo comes after the verse. Everybody else, right from the get-go, come and sing along with us. I know you know this one. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my 
When I hope oh dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and I cried. Everybody sing, you are my You make me skies are gray. You never We don't get lots of lightning. It's a little difficult being plugged into something when that happens. So I want to feature our fine, fine banjoist. He is the Superman of the banjo, the Clark Kent of the banjo, and he looks a little more like Clark Kent today because he just couldn't find a telephone booth to change into the cape. He's gonna do a beautiful arrangement. Sing this one in your mind, sing it aloud if you like. I just love listening to him pick this one. Somewhere over the banjo. Bye. 
we're going to do a little jet band music. This is the traditional music that started in the Great Depression when musicians couldn't even afford instruments, so they began to make music on their household appliances. The heart and soul of Watermelon Mountain Jug Band, they've been making music together for 46 years. This fellow right next to me is the world's greatest living exponent of the wash tub bass. Paul McCartney needs four strings. Gary only needs the one. He invented his own style on this instrument. He created the instrument itself and made one unlike anybody else's. That's why it sounds so good. How about a hand for Grandpa Gary Olson on the wash tub bass? and his compatriot in music for 46 years. She plays the washboard, the hi-hat, the wood block, the trade whistle. She does it all. She is the wonder woman of the washboard. How about a hand for the lovely, talented Miss Barbara Piper on the washboard. So we do a traditional song. These come out, the jug band music came out of Memphis, Tennessee, and this is jug band music. Down south, Memphis, Tennessee. Jug band music sounds so sweet to me. Yes, it sounds so sweet. Ah, ah it's a heart to beat. Ah, ah, yeah, well, jug band music certainly was a treat to me. Well, I was with my gal. I put my hand up on her knee. She can't, you can't play the jug. Well, you can't play with me because it sounds so sweet. And it's a hard to beat Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, just that music Certainly was a treat to me I gotta hear that rhythm section, Barbara and Gary, come on Thank you, folks. We are getting a little more lightning than we're comfortable with now, because if that hits 
well, the stage is kind of, you guys are good where you are. It's going to get us. We're plugged into it. So we're going to give you one more. And uh, we'll let Ben Perea, he is our state champ. He's no chump, he's a champ. We'll let him pick us out of here. And we do want to thank Roger, Frank, the whole staff here. We ask you to please take your cups with you. It'll just help them a little bit on the cleanup. Take your cups and toss them on the way out. And remember, every penny you spend here goes to feed these animals. These are all rescue animals in Wildlife West Rescue Zoo. This is the home of goat yoga. And I am constantly amazed that they can get Tom Brady to come out here and do a little yoga with the goats. <laughs> The goat, he's the goat. So we'll let Ben pick us on out of here as a traditional bluegrass tune called Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Thank you.